4K Capture Utility makes capturing and recording gameplay a breeze, while still being a powerhouse piece of software. In this video, we'll discuss capturing high quality gameplay, flashback recording, HDR, Streamlink, and much more. If you are looking for a specific function of 4K Capture Utility, use the chapter markers down below to skip to that section of the video. When using 4K Capture Utility, all the information you need is right on the main window. At the top right, you'll find information about the signal type being received by your capture card. You'll see the resolution and frame rate like 2160p60, HDR if it's detected, and VRR or Variable Refresh Rate on supported Elgato capture cards. Next to this is your current recording settings, including the bitrate and the remaining space on the drive being recorded to. The first thing you'll notice on the bottom is that big red record button. Simply clicking on this button will start a recording. However, the real power comes with flashback recording. 4K Caps Utility is always recording your gameplay footage in the background automatically, so you don't forget to start recording or have to sort through hours upon hours of footage for that one clip. With flashback active, simply drag the current time indicator back through the cache footage to the beginning of the moment you would like to save. Click on record and select the endpoint. Hit record again and you've just recorded that awesome triple kill. Also in the bottom left corner are a few customizable fields that you can use to give your recording a name, specify game, and provide tags for organization. At the top right, click on the gear icon to open the preferences. In the recording tab, you can change options for where recordings and screenshots are saved, recording resolution, HDR recorded toggle, flashback time, and more. Depending on the captured device you are using and available video encoder, 4K Capture Utility can record in up to 4K60 HDR. Inside of these settings is where you can enable or disable HDR recording. 4K Capture Utility records ultra-high quality HDR10 in HEVC format. While recording HDR, 4K Capture Utility will tone map the preview to SDR for maximum compatibility, which is why the preview may look different from what you see on your TV or monitor. Note that recording HDR requires an NVIDIA 10 series GPU or newer, as well as an HDR capable monitor connected to your PC in order to view the recording in HDR using a supported video player. For information on what computer hardware you need to capture HDR, check out our links down in the description. Also under the recording tab is the option to disable flashback recording. It is on by default and we suggest keeping it enabled. Under this checkbox is the slider that indicates how long you would like to cache your footage, with a minimum of 5 minutes to a max of 4 hours. 4K Caps Utility can record your microphone for live commentary. Designed with maximum flexibility in mind, this track is always saved as a separate file. This is handy in case you want to balance your voice and gameplay while editing. Select your microphone in the settings, then click the Live Commentary button to record your voice. Depending on what capture card you're using, you'll see an audio input selection in the Capture tab. This is important if you are using a Chatlink Pro to capture audio from a PlayStation or Switch, as this is how you will select the Chatlink Pro as an audio input source. If you're using an internal PCIe card, your choice of audio input will be under the Mic tab, found here. You'll see other drop-down menus under the Device tab, such as EDID and HDMI Color Range. If you are looking to learn more about these features, click the links down below. If we were to cover those features, this video would be double in length. On the General tab is another powerful feature in 4K Caps Utility called Streamlink. Some of our devices support multi-app, which means you can record a high-quality copy in 4K CU and use it in OBS at the same time. UVC-based devices like HD60X and HD60S Plus only work in one app at one time. This is where Streamlink comes in. Streamlink allows you to capture ultra-high quality footage without overlays while also sending the same video to your streaming software of choice, such as OBS Studio. For example, this makes it easy to stream with all your fancy overlays and alerts and also, at the same time, record an untouched, high-quality video to later edit highlights of your streaming moments. If you're using 4K60 Pro Mark II, Streamlink also lets you record a ultra-high-quality HDR video without overlays while also streaming through software like OBS. 
check out our Streamlink setup video in the description below. Not only does 4K Capture Utility make recording simple, it also makes sure your recordings are organized and easily accessible for editing. Next, we will go over the Library tab, where you will find all your recorded clips and powerful smart folders. When viewing the library, you will see a few default sorting options on the left side, which you can then filter at the top by title, game, star rating, duration, date, size, and format. By using smart folders, you can create your own filters that take into account many different types of recording metadata, such as resolution, frame rate, HDR status, and much more. Smart folders will automatically organize your recordings based on rules you can define. To create a smart folder, navigate to the bottom left and click the plus sign. A box will appear where you can name the smart folder, apply rules, and then all of your recordings will populate automatically into that smart folder. Let's quickly create a smart folder that will group all of our 4K clips from Destiny 2 together. First, we'll name it Destiny 2 4K. Next, we will select Game from the drop down menu. Then we will select Contains as we set the game name to Destiny 2 at the start of the recording. And then Destiny 2 in the last field, as that is the focus. By clicking on the plus sign at the end, we can add another rule where we select frame height that equals 2160p since 4K video is 2160 pixels high. After that, click Save. And now we have everything we need right in this specific folder. You can right click any video clip and select Open in File Explorer as well. This will open the saved location of your recorded video clips that is located on your hard drive. In this folder, you will find a few different types of files. The M4A files are your individual audio tracks, which are labeled Game and Live Commentary. Next will be the AAF file, which you can use to easily open your recording in your favorite video editing software such as Vegas and Premiere. And finally, the MP4 file is the video and audio files combined. All of these features are just one tap away with Stream Deck integration. Capture screenshots, start and stop recordings, save flashback recordings, and more with the 4K Capture Utility plugin and actions. All available for free on the Stream Deck store. To learn more about our capture cards, head over to Elgato.com. If you have questions, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can catch the rest of our videos to learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Thanks for watching.